Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Distorted. Let's do it. Distorted is a techno-thriller from director Rob W. King and Mind's Eye Entertainment. The film stars Christina Ricci, John Cusack, Brendan Fletcher, Vesalis Shannon, and Nicole Anthony. Lauren, a married woman with significant trauma in her past, moves into a smart apartment with her husband Russell to escape her fears. When she starts hearing and seeing things in her new apartment, she must question if it is reality or her own paranoia turning upon her. Now let me just start by saying, normally when I read the premise, as I do when I show the trailer, I get the premise from either IMDb or Wikipedia. This time, I had to write it myself because this movie is so freaking lazy that the premise on both Wikipedia and IMDb are filled with massive spoilers. Between the fact that those are filled with massive spoilers, the movie went straight to streaming, and the fact that they used like a website for their end titles, which isn't inherently a bad thing on its own, but I think coupled with those other things suggests just how good of a movie this is. It isn't. But as per usual, let's talk about the good first. Christina Ricci is really good in this film. I'm not sure why she's in this film. She's better than that, but she's really good. I figured, oh, maybe it's a passion project. She's a producer. No, no, she's just in the movie. But she is really good in the movie. She's 100% all in. She plays the paranoia angle very, very well. I've been a fan of Christina Ricci for a long time. The premise itself is actually pretty cool, but particularly at first, once it all sort of shakes down at the end, it gets ridiculous, but the actual premise of the movie is cool. And the score, I really liked the score. The movie uses a motif of the song Beautiful Dreamer, by Bing Crosby, a song I absolutely abhor with every ounce of my existence. However, the score itself, which is like kind of a synthy electronic score, uses the first five notes of that song, and actually it works really well, and it really does build tension where the narrative completely fails to do so. I will also say the movie does have a few good jumps in there. Not many, but a few, and that's pretty much all I have for good stuff. Now, I mentioned that Christina Ricci plays a married woman suffering from trauma from earlier in her life. John Cusack plays John Cusack in a hoodie. Now, I really like John Cusack, but I find for the last good few years, he hasn't been in a lot of good stuff that I've seen, and he hasn't been all that good in the stuff that I have seen. Like the Stephen King movie, Cell, which in fairness was a bad movie, he was playing John Cusack and not well. In this movie, he's not trying. You can tell he looks bored. He doesn't want to be there. Granted, he's maybe got seven minutes of screen time in the whole flick. All of the other performances were perfectly adequate, with the exception of Brendan Fletcher, who plays Russell, who is Christina Ricci's character's husband, and I thought he was pretty bad. Now, this movie jumps right in. It just throws you in, and it doesn't work at all. I actually thought it was like a production company reel. It's, we see Christina Ricci like running through a warehouse, and I thought it was a production company reel, like it was gonna go like, Mind's Eye Entertainment. No, it's the beginning of the movie. Now, there is something to be said for jumping right in, sure. And there's something to be said for something to just completely disorient you, sure, that's great. But this doesn't play out that way. This was just like, is this how the movie starts? This movie also uses this motif of this really freaky deaky video, which features really frenetic cuts, strobe effects, and really disturbing imagery. It's kind of like an unholy union of the video from The Ring and the opening credits of Seven. And it really is kind of cool at first, but it does get old very quickly and it stops being effective. Also, if you are prone to epileptic seizures, don't see this movie. Maybe don't see it anyway, but particularly if you're prone to epileptic seizures, don't see this movie. I think there is a really good idea in this movie somewhere, but despite Christina Ricci's very strong performance, the way it's put together, the way it's executed, it's really, really lazy. And by the end of the movie, like the third act is borderline nonsensical and kind of funny when it really probably shouldn't be. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give, what the hell is this movie called? Distorted. What am I gonna give Distorted? And I think I'm gonna give Distorted a... out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen Distorted? What did you think about it? What's your favorite Christina Ricci performance of all time? What's your favorite John Cusack performance of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. You can do so by clicking the Court Shake logo at the bottom right of your screen. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.